All right. Um, video for y'all. Um, this is gonna you know, this media player right there. This is the link I'm gonna be giving you. It's an MP3 player for your PlayStation Portable running on custom firmware, and uh, this is the file I'm gonna have you download right here. And uh, it's gonna be called Light MP3 200 RC3. It's about a megabyte big, and uh, what you're gonna do after downloading it is open it up. Uh, if you ain't got one of these extraction programs, uh, what you're gonna do is simply just take this and you're gonna right click on it and extract files to your desktop and that'll be that but if you have an extraction program great so open that up and inside this folder you're gonna see a whole bunch of bogus uh, basically uh, just check this out make sure all this stuff is there you gotta pause the video pause it and uh, go back to you see the light mp3 folder alright after that you're gonna take your PSP and put it in USB mode. So uh, why don't we do that right now? I don't care. So uh, connect PSP to USB mode, and uh, autoplay should come up. Open up to view the files and the folders, and uh, you're gonna go into the regular PSP folder and into the game folder. And from the extracted files or extraction program, just drag and drop light MP3 right into the game folder and let that copy go over. Um, recommendation VSH menu, overclock your CPU at 333 by 166, be your best bet. Um, yeah. What? Okay, cool. So, let that copy over, and uh, there you have it, and then all you gotta do is disconnect your PSP from USB mode, go over to the game, and uh, you can open this homebrew application. Now, you have to be on custom firmware, don't ask me questions why it don't work, because it's only gonna work if you're on custom firmware. If you're on official firmware and you want this to work, I'm sorry, it's not gonna work. Um, so. But I'm never going to use this, so I'm just going to delete it. This is basically for you guys. Uh, it's useful for sometimes some MP3 files don't work. Uh, you're going to open this up, and you're going to browse your uh, music files on the memory stick. You'll be able to browse through the folders and select what song to play. Um, and you can play uh, M4A, MP3, and uh, a lot of other audio formats with this homebrew application. So... Uh, other than that, that's about it, and enjoy the homebrew app. I will have a link with the description next to this video. Take it easy, guys, and this is Rob, signing out.